Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alina Ghost and if you're new here, I have a 10 month old baby boy called Aiden and we've been using reusable nappies for about seven months now. And I've been doing like a whole series around um, trying every single brand, if that's even possible. And I've done a few reviews already, but I thought, this time I'm going to do like a day in the life of us actually using the reusable nappies throughout the whole day so that you get a picture around how actually you should be using those reusable nappies because maybe it's completely different to what you expect but hopefully this sets some expectations this gives you like a reality and a view of how actually it could be for you if you started a reusable nappies journey <laughs> What I'm going to do is actually take you through the whole day with us, starting from the very early hours of the morning. I get him up and I get him undressed and I wanted to talk a little bit about those nighttime nappies because this could be the make or break situation in the sense that it is one of the sole reasons that people might give up. Uh, reusable nappy using because it's one of the hardest things to get right especially if you've got heavy wetter like I do so it's a matter of actually testing out those different materials knowing what brands to go for I'll go through what we do in a second but let me first explain what I do right now I'm doing the obvious which is a taking off his nappy and hiding his modesty but what I do is actually take a wet muslin and just freshen him up a bit to keep him hygienic you can obviously give them a shower or whatever but this works well for us on that particular night it looks like we used a lollipop nighttime nappy I usually add three boosters to it as you can see and then two pre-folds as well as a wrap this works well for us but we are trialing out lots of different other methods so do subscribe because I will be sharing that on the channel so that you guys can see exactly what I've tried what kind of brands work and don't work especially as Aiden is such a heavy wetter next up is our morning nappy and i keep that nice and easy because i know that he's going to poop first thing in the morning we have breakfast and then he has a nice good number two <laughs> anyway i do make sure that there's a bamboo liner that's easily disposable it's 100 percent biodegradable which is awesome or you can use those reusable fleece liners um, which are great but i usually use them knowing that he probably won't poo once that nappy is on i don't have to worry and then we take it super slow and super easy in the morning my baby boy aiden is an absolute mover so even though he's 10 months old he's already walking i'm super proud of him obviously but it's also making life a little bit trickier especially when it comes to those reusable nappies and probably just nappies in general uh, right now just so you know i'm adding a bracelet on him which is a, a teething one um, but I've added a ribbon to it so in case it does fall off his wrist that he doesn't choke on it in case he does put it in his mouth. Anyway, if you are interested in reusable nappies that have Velcro on it because it is much easier to put on when they're on the move, then check out my Bambino Mio video specifically and I'll add a link for you right now. It's super exciting because actually today is Aiden's first snow day as well. It's been snowing, it's been freezing outside and Aiden was absolutely fascinated. He was looking out the window and he absolutely loved it. Don't worry, I'm holding him very tightly even when you see some close-ups in a second. So I just wanted to add this in because even though it's a reusable nappies journey, Today has actually been a really fun day, full of snow, full of going out with the dog and having fun just near our house. Now it's time to brush our teeth and I got Aiden into a habit of brushing his little teeth with me. He's got six teeth out with a few more on the way and oh my goodness doesn't it scare you when they start walking around with the toothbrush. But as I said because he's a mover I don't think I can stop him even if I tried. 
after brushing our teeth we go downstairs and have breakfast and just like clockwork he did end up going for a number two which is great because then I can show you the next nappy that we end up using. For this next nappy I double up on the inserts because um, I know that he's going to be in it for a little bit longer so hopefully there won't be any number twos and I use a reusable fleece liner to um, basically keep his bottom dry. Um, I also use a wet muslin again just to freshen him up. I know that some people use pads um, but because we're in lockdown and we're always at home I don't actually feel the need to use them so I just end up using muslins for everything especially that I know that I can just throw them into the washing machine if I need to. Please excuse the mess that you will see in a second but how cute is he just walking around like that? Um, yeah once I'm done with the nappies I do chuck them into the washing machine which you'll see. Since we started weaning, actually poops and disposing of number twos has become so much easier because you just pop them into the toilet and flush and then with the liners I put them into the bin and there's a lot of hand washing going on, especially when you've got a baby and basically be prepared and it's not just because of COVID. Um, as I said, you will be washing your hands lots and lots when it comes to babiness. Even Casper's playing. I have about 10 of these muslins that I got cheap on eBay which I just throw into the washing machine and it all gets washed with the nappies as well. Don't forget to take out your inserts putting them into the washing machine. So now we're off to outside and have a bit of fun in the snow. We have to wrap up warm because it's really freezing. As you can see, Aiden wasn't very happy. He was due a nap, which he was skipping and fighting. So I thought, you know what, we're just going to go outside and enjoy some fresh air and hopefully he'll nap afterwards. So here we are just getting all cosy and ready to go outside. Good boy, Casper. Good boy, Casper. That's <laughs>
we've just been out in the snow outside and it was absolutely lovely because Aiden has never seen snow before and he was giggling away he loved me making the snowballs he also liked to like tap the snow off the leaves which was so cute so hopefully you get to see a little bit of that see him giggling away so after a bit of fresh air he did go straight down for a nap and that was absolutely ideal because now I'm going to put together those nappies and you'll get to see how I fold them together um, and also I need to do some washing too so put up the washing and then do those reusable nappies. I don't always get to sit down and actually fold the nappies but when I do it's really satisfying and today I actually managed to watch Netflix and have some time to myself whilst doing these nappies. It's really therapeutic, really surprising and the other thing I was going to confess to is the fact that I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder season one. It's so good and if you haven't seen it already I definitely do recommend it. After a while of using like reusable nappies you do end up understanding which brands are for you which type of nappies you like the most actually so I do end up actually folding them in the way that I like to so with a fluffy insert as well as a booster and then a couple of inserts and actually I try and keep the brand separate as well so uh, for example there's some nappies that I spent like nearly th 30 pounds on but they're just so good and you'll also see later the nappy that lasts us about three to four hours which is bloody awesome so this is my own personal stash and I keep it in a lovely basket like this but you can keep it anywhere in drawers in bags it's completely up to you and this is the way that I hang my reusable nappies uh, I don't know if it's right or wrong but it works for us I also like the fact that those ones that you see at the top actually dry the best but to have like a super quick way of drying out the inserts and the boosters. I bought this from Dunelm for about three pounds, I think, so really cheap, but it works so well. I think it's for socks actually, but it's really good for all of those reusable nappy fillers. Here's the new brand that I've been trialing to uh, do a review on in a bit. This is called Nappy News and basically I like the fact that the inserts are super absorbent and as I mentioned they lasted us in this particular day about four hours which is amazing and usually is unheard of so that's really cool and definitely worth the money so I added another bamboo liner to it just because I think I ran out of all the other ones and I've put that on him as you can see he is wriggly or wrigglesome <laughs> just trying to move as much as possible and get away but it's not too bad once you get to know how to distract them away from all of those wriggling thank you so much for watching our video although we're signing off now don't stop watching because we will be going through the nighttime nappy routine because a lot of you are really interested around it and we are trialing different nappies throughout the night because somebody here is a heavy wetter. He nurses like three times a night. He loves my glasses. Um, so of course he will be weeing throughout the night as well and quite a lot too. So yeah, I hope that it's enjoyable to you that this shows you what it's like to have reusable Hello, nappies Dad. and gives you some idea around what it's like having nighttime reusable nappies as well.
although this is a different nighttime nappy it's very similar to the other one as you can see I already had a boost uh, connected to it I added a couple more fleece liner and also two pre-folds um, just like the other one the other thing about this wrap the outside layer is really good and waterproof but I actually found that that one in particular was a little bit too small so I have to actually put it on the very ends of the poppers so I don't think it will last us very much longer. The main thing though is that we don't get many leaks especially because we did at the beginning for a number of months until a lovely viewer actually sent across some nighttime nappies for us which we trialed and we absolutely loved and I managed to get some more and I'm planning to try even more nappies and review them for you on this very channel. <laughs>